rewrite 2 minus root 3 over 4 plus root 3 in the form of a plus b root 3 where a and b are rational numbers okay now this is called a third form so let us write that first so this is 2 minus 2 root 3 over 4 plus root 3 now whenever you have the denominator as a third form the next step that I'm going to do is called rationalizing the denominator so let me write that that's called in some exam papers you they may ask you like this rationalize the rationalize the denominator okay now what does that mean uh, this is in the third form denominator okay now to rationalize the denominator what they're asking you to do is you have to change this into a neat number to put this in simple words this is a form of a ugly form or I would, yeah you can call this a ugly form because you don't want yeah, or in other words if you want to write this as a neat number you have to do something and that's what they're asking you to do to change this into a neat form without the square root now to do that what you do is you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of this conjugate is in other words the additive opposite of this so this is this 4 plus root 3 the conjugate of 4 plus root 3 is 4 minus root 3 so if you're multiplying the denominator with 4 minus root 3 you also multiply the numerator with 4 minus root 3 so basically this is nothing but 1 so what you're doing is you're multiplying this whole thing times 1 that means it is the same thing so basically this number or this and this are the same okay the neat thing about the next step is what will happen is magically not magically uh, mathematically <laughs> the denominator will become a neat number now for that I hope you know the uh, difference of two squares formula which is a plus b times a minus b is a squared minus b squared okay some books also call this famous formula as dos okay d o s or this is the the short form for difference of squares so if you have difference of squares you can write this form so i'm going to do the expansion of the numerator so this is two so i let let me put this in bracket like this so now you use your expanding two brackets as so I think you can understand without me going through the this is pretty easy so 2 times 4 is 8 then you're multiplying with 2 with negative root 3 so this is minus 2 root 3 then you're multiplying with negative 2 root 3 times 4 is negative 8 root 3 and negative and negative is positive 2 so it's 2 times root 3 times root 3 and root 3 times root 3 is 3 so this is becomes 2 times 3 which is 6 over using dos I can say this is 4 squared minus root 3 squared so the next step would be 8 plus 6 is 14 oh, 8 plus 6 is not 16 it is 14 8 plus 6 is 14 minus 10 root 3 over 16 minus 3 so which is nothing but 14 minus 10 root 3 over 13 now the question is you want to write in this form you have to have an a you have to have plus b times root 3 and a and b are rational number rational numbers are numbers which can be written as a as a fraction okay so the rational number to write to express uh, any number which can be written as a over b of course b should not be zero is a short definition of rational number any number basically uh, not all numbers that are irrational numbers all numbers which are not irrational can be written as a numerator and a denominator so how can I write this so the next step I'm going to write this as 14 over root no sorry 14 over 14 over 13 I want to put a plus and then I'll write minus 10 over 13 
root 3. So why did I write this? Because I want to write this as a plus b root 3. That's what they wanted. Yes, it's a plus b root 3. So what is just to explain what is our a? a is 14 over 13. Now this is a rational number. And your b is negative 10 over 30. And that's your answer. 